Welcome to Ladies of Another View on Back, and it is National North Dakota Day. Yeah, who Ooh, knew nice. that? That was amazing. I woke up this morning, and there it was. It's like yeah. National North Dakota Day. Didn't even know there was such a thing. The Flicker Tail State, the Peace Garden State, and we all know that Theodore Roosevelt once said that if it had not been for his time in North Dakota, he probably couldn't have been president. Yeah. Isn't that great? And that's yeah. even with the bully pulpit and uh, yes. go bully and all of that when he was down Oh, what island was he on when he was fighting in um, San Juan? San Juan, there yeah. you go. So anyway, but it's just there's a lot of history right here in North Dakota. So yeah. celebrate along with us, even if you're not from North Dakota. It's National North Dakota Day. Yeah. Um, so we're going to talk about it. Our country has borders, right? So we're uh, talking about the border. I don't know about it does. That border. Hmm. Let me think a bit about porous that. of late. Yes. There you yes. go. Yes. Porous borders. There's well, a border by Canada. I can't go to Canada without a passport. But and an ID, legally. and an ID. Well, Are you talking I, ID? I, I can't think. go to Mexico and come back without one either. Oh. Oh. So, but I think if you're from further south or a different country, come on come in. Come on in. So we, we got problems, right? <laughs> and um, we also have problems with the media in the way that they report things. Because about six months ago, you probably, uh, who didn't hear about the border guards whipping and being cruel with these Haitian immigrants that were crossing the border and they showed photos of Border Patrol agents on horseback um, and they have these long reins. Well they're called split reins is what they are. They're called split reins. So a lot of times you'll have just one rein or you'll have split reins and the split reins are actually an extra two three feet longer and so and you can use it to kind of you know tap on your horse not much but it's just split reins the better cowboys will use a split rein yeah. um, mm -hmm. some of the the cowboys or cowgirls that have just one rein so if you if you drop a rein your reins stay on your horse because it's just one rein so split reins are they're they're good um, we use them all the time and mm -hmm. they are not used as whips and right. within 24 hours, if you paid attention to any conservative media, you knew that, that, that the pictures had given a false impression. So this let's had just not do happened. something yeah, like this, like Jan, like just sit right there, don't move, and I'm going to try to do this. Okay, now on TV, it looks like I'm hitting her, and I'm mm -hmm. actually six inches away. So when those reins are out in front like this, mm -hmm. it does look like mm -hmm. yes. like they're being hit. Those, it was, it's just an optic illusion is what mm -hmm. it is. Yeah. Um, here's my hand. I'm still almost a foot away from Jan, but you but wouldn't know that out there. The damage is already done, right. though, by yeah. the time they get that out there because the attention span of the public is... Yep. Not very long. Yep. And they yep. see it and they move on with their thought process and just say the big bad uglies are out there. Yep. And uh, yep. Jen Psaki did a press conference and said this is brutal, this is inappropriate, we're going to do something about this and look what our president said about it too. That yep, Jen Psaki is like this, this is not going to be tolerated, there's going to be consequences and then Biden came out and this is what he told the country. Given what we saw at the border this week, have you failed in that promise? And this is happening under your watch. Do you take responsibility for the chaos that's unfolding? Of course I take responsibility. I'm president, but it was horrible what to see, as you saw. To see people treated like they did, horses barely running them over, people being strapped, it's outrageous. I promise you those people will pay. They will be an investigation underway now, and there will be consequences. There will be consequences. It's an embarrassment, but it's beyond an embarrassment. It's dangerous. It's wrong. It sends the wrong message around the world. It sends the wrong message at home. It's simply not who we are. So anyways, uh, well, this is a little embarrassing oh. because within 24 hours, the conservative media said that didn't happen. Optical illusion or just because of the angle of the camera and nobody was whipping anybody. Well, they were. it took six months of an investigation yeah. to officially clear them. In the meantime, the border agents had been at a desk job and they've been cleared but no apology from the administration. Somebody, one of the reporters asked Jen Psaki yesterday, is there going to be an apology? And she says, well, I don't know. We're, we'll have to see how they handle it. Well, the no crazy apology. thing about wow. that is that he said there's going to be consequences. There's going to be, yeah, the consequences are they basically lost their jobs. They were criticized. They were, you know, their names have been rung through the coals. And it's like, so there were consequences, but it wasn't on the Americans, right? It was on those poor people that were working and mm -hmm. doing their jobs, trying to stop these people from coming over the border without uh, proper documentation. Yes. They were mm -hmm. doing their job. And then he goes ahead and criticizes criticizes them for doing their job. And again, I can come out here, all right? I'm 
I'm three feet away from Jan. Those reins weren't even close to those people. Mm -hmm. It's optical illusion is what it is. It's, right. it's just, I'm but just you know, on fire. They knew you what, what they were though? doing. He it wasn't an accident. It. That's the worst fact they knew what they were I've doing. Seen. But Ever. the other piece of it is, and we're having this discussion, but it goes back to the president of the United States of America condemning some of his people with no trial, no jury, no facts, no anything, just supposition from some kind of an illusion and never saying we're investigating, we'll right. see what happens. I mean, you what happened to innocent until proven guilty? That's the piece that makes me crazy today because you don't ever hear it. You don't ever hear it. Whatever political forces are in motion, that's going to be the story. And that's wrong on so many levels. You know, I started out in college in journalism, took a year of journalism. And back in the day, you would lose your job for reporting, to, to jump the gun and misreport, something like that. Yes. But the New York Times, all the major media outlets all reported that this, is ha this had happened, mm -hmm. and it hadn't. And so when that happens, you know it was intentional. Right. They want to be against law enforcement, against, you know, these poor, mm -hmm. these poor immigrants were beaten at the border, um, but yeah, it didn't but happen. But is, is it lazy journalism or is it Operation Mockingbird? Because, yeah, you know, one is. piece of information goes out there, all of the news media carries it. Mm -hmm. It's on the Associated false, Press. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And, and they don't ever do their own fact checking. Correct. They just throw it out there mm -hmm. and let's move on to the next thing, no matter who it hurts. Mm -hmm. But it's an inf it, it was intentional. Was it last week that they had the, we talked about it here, in mm -hmm. Chicago they had that misinformation conference yes. that uh, mm -hmm. Obama <laughs> spoke <laughs> yes. at. And uh, Biden was seen wandering around because nobody wanted to it talk was a to comedy. him. It was a comedy, right? Oh, no. I don't know what it was. I, I don't know what it was, but there was a college freshman who asked questions like, why is it always in one direction, these supposed mistakes? Why does it only go in one direction? Because it's an agenda. Mm -hmm. you well, know? what was the answer? Did they answer that question? No. The guy from CNN, uh, Tapperson, Jake Tapperson, was that him? He Jake said, Tapper. oh, lunch break. You know, and they yeah. made a joke about it, and they never really <laughs> answered this like, guy. Sounds um, like our convention a little couple weeks ago. Uh, Maybe that's Republican where they got convention. the line oh, sorry, from. lunch break. <laughs> Talking Maybe points. That is the new, <laughs> the new. Okay. We'll yeah. have to remember that. Lunch break, that. Just lunch break do a 180. <laughs> if you don't want to talk or you don't mm -hmm. want to mention, oh, sorry, got to go to lunch. Yep. yep. Lunch break, that's the day. It's but 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, I just got to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> While we're on the topic of the border, there's been a fourth bus that arrived in D.C. from Texas because Governor Abbott has said, hey, you're going to keep sending in these uh, illegal immigrants. You're allowing them in. What am I supposed to do? I'll send them to you, and you can figure it out. So the fourth bus arrived April 16th, which is just a couple days ago, um, and there are some... D.C. said, oh, this is just a publicity stunt. I guess Catholic Charities and other charities are bringing them in, and some have said that it's illegal for Governor Abbott to do this. But in reality, our U.S. government, the federal government, has already been doing it. Mm -hmm. They yes. have been shipping people, airports, sending out on buses. Mm -hmm. They have been spreading out across the United States. So I don't know if they even care that this is being done. Right. No, it's just the eyes are on this one. This is big news. And look how they get to walk through the Capitol. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Everyday Americans haven't been in the Capitol for almost two years because of the January pandemic. 6th. Yes. And the January 6th people are still in jail without being charged and they're, yes. being, tr they're being treated horribly mm -hmm. and nobody, nobody even reports on uh, it. How bad is that? So there were some tweets regarding that. No, there was not. That was regarding... <laughs> Never you mind her, Jan, because... <laughs> Lunch break. <laughs> no, because Lunch you, break. I can't Lunch reach her. Break. She's six Lunch feet break. That's, You know what? That's just a bill. She's billboarding that there's tweets coming up, and so stay tuned for that. Um, but I wanted to make this point before we do go to break, um, that Governor Abbott has stated that there's been more than 1.6 million people have crossed the border into Texas illegally in the last 15 months. It's crazy. So, and of those 23 terror suspects were caught, and they figure 500 to 600,000 got away. Wow. Never, never got checked for anything. No. They don't even know where they are. They don't know what happened to them. They, they, think of, I can't even imagine the morale. I, wow. It's Can horrible. you imagine? God bless them for what they're doing down there.